Hey gang. Oh, let's see. Been about a year ago, I guess, that I announced that I was moving out of my apartment and moving here. And I started packing a whole bunch of stuff. And so that's what I did. I talked about it. And I've been here now for a year. I've had my storage unit for a year, which is where all the stuff went to. And uh, in that time, I got rid of a lot of these cardboard boxes like this or the, the, the Lowe's ones that I had and got these instead. So there were 33 in total of these. I still have Lowe's uh, cardboard boxes. I still have those cardboard boxes with stuff in it. And I still have the Lowe's small box with all the dishes in it. I still have those. I haven't gotten rid of those yet. Probably won't. Not for a while. But I still have a bunch of these things, 33 in all, and I spent $15 a piece on those. So, it's a lot of money. Lots and lots of money on plastic, clear plastic storage totes, which did absolutely nothing that, they, and that I intended them for, for them to do, which is allow me to see inside of them so I can get to what I need easier. That didn't happen. In fact, I still can't see what's in there. That's why I can't find my TM-152 AM stereo tuner or my cassette adapter for the Delco radio in the Buick that I'm working on. Yes. So I decided because of this and because I've lost so much money on trying to sell stuff on eBay out of the storage unit, not enough to even make enough money to pay one month's worth of storage unit, let alone a whole year, that it's time to get rid of this stuff. And that kind of sparked this latest, this latest raid on the storage unit is that I can't find what I need. I'm tired of going over there and wasting three or four hours each day when I go over there to look for things that I can't find that it's time to get rid of them. So I'm getting rid of all of these damn things or getting rid of most of them to either get rid of the storage unit altogether or downsize or downgrade, at least temporarily. And the, and, and the goal is that, and the world, the kind of the reasoning behind all of this is that if what I think is going to occur does occur, that I will not see any of this stuff for years. Many, 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 many years, like almost a decade. If what I think is going to happen, happens. So it's time for this stuff to disappear. It needs to go away. And that's what I'm doing. And the quicker and the sooner, the better. So out of all three of uh, 33 of these, I have maybe 24, 25 left. And that's not kind of the ones that are already here. There's one there. There's another one there. And there's two more in the dining room. And there's one in the car. And uh, so I, I went when? Friday and got three out and put them in the car and drug them over here to go through all the stuff in the storage totes. And then yesterday I went to the storage tote after I got off, or the storage unit rather, and got three more after I got off work and brought them over here. And today I've been going through them and dividing everything up into uh, different piles of uh, dispositions of what this stuff is going to be doing or where it's going. And so I have this box here of stuff that's going to go to the local charity shop. So I have a, a local charity shop here in town that uh, all the proceeds that they get from stuff sold at the thrift store goes to help people in need. Uh, so I decided to do that instead of getting it to the, the Goodwill, which does very little, if any, to local causes. And so I decided to do that. That's what this is for, and it's, it will be filled up. Uh, that's another box of stuff that I haven't gone through yet. And that will end up most likely all of it in the charity shop box. And then there's a pile of stuff that I'm keeping here with me. That's what that's for. Uh, that is only going to grow bigger as uh, more stuff is shifted around. That is for going back to the storage unit at some point to deal with it when it when it comes time. Uh, when, I don't know. But it will, won't be too far in the distant future. Probably no more than a couple of months. And then there's stuff that, um, well... Some of that stuff will go on eBay, and then some of it, uh, I haven't gone through it yet, so that's why I don't really know what's over there. But uh, I have a lot of stuff here, and i got to go through it and, and do something with it, because I think I have Wednesday off this week, which I'm not doing anything but homework. And that will give me plenty of time to drive over to the charity shop and drop off all the stuff that certainly will not stay on the shelf very long. It's going to sell, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be burning off the shelf. This stuff is so good. And it's in such good condition. So there's really no point in wasting it or using it for shop rags. It's, uh, it's good stuff and somebody will definitely want it and use it. And, and I'm all for them 
uh, wearing my stuff if that's what they want. And the proceeds, of course, naturally go to a good cause. So that's kind of what I got. Now, uh, in the process of trying to find the realistic TM152 so I can test the Sequam AM stereo transmitter out for you to buy on eBay at some point in the future, I have also found a couple other things. I'm not trying to make this an episode of Hoarders because there are some things that I don't mind getting rid of. Like this Optimus 12-603A Super Radio 3 clone. Now that's what this is. I know you can't see it, but that's I'm just looking here and that's what it looks like to me. Still wrapped up in the uh, in the foam. Uh, yeah, that's, that's probably going to get donated because I looked on eBay and the most expensive one of these is selling for 70 bucks new in the box. All the other ones are most are below 20 bucks, which is not enough for me to sell stuff on eBay. I have to have something that's at least $50 uh, list price for it to make at least uh, a marginal profit. Break even on something like this is uh, $28. That's a break even on it because of the freaking shipping and the, uh, and the fees and the taxes. So break even on that's about twenty eight dollars. Um, so that's not worth selling because most of them are less than twenty bucks. And while I haven't checked the prices for one of these, I know that one time you could get a one that was in pretty rough shape for about forty bucks, and good ones were going for seventy five to hundred bucks. I don't know what they're going for now, but uh, I will be selling this. And depending on what the uh, going price is for these, I might end up donating this to the charity shop too. It's, the, it's really just, it's really not worth enough for me to keep it. And I would love to keep it as a radio receiver. And if it worked right, I probably would. It doesn't. It needs to be recapped and it needs to be aligned. And uh, it doesn't really receive radio stations very well unless it gets fixed. Because I know these things are capable of a lot more than what this thing can do. Especially in an over-radio market like Nashville is. But still, it's just, it needs a lot of help and I don't have enough time to do it and probably won't for a long long time so it's going to go Damn, i still have two more of those to storage totes to go through yet so yeah this stuff has got to go i'm tired of looking at it I'm tired of dealing with them tired of paying for it i've lost so much money on the storage unit it's not even funny and uh i'm not i refuse to do it anymore i mean my storage unit fees is more than my damn phone bill <laughs> so yeah it's time for this stuff to disappear okay so, at some point, I will eventually find the storage tote that has the TM-152 in it. And then when I finally get around to having enough time to test the Alfredo Light transmitter, then I'll let you know. But until I find that, who knows how long that's going to be. That's kind of, well, this is kind of what I'm doing between homework, going to class, and going to work. And I have also found out that I have more station projects to work on. Oh, yeah, like I needed anything else. Oh, and I have to get Dante certified, too. I forgot to, I mentioned that. I I got to get my Dante certification. Yeah, loads of fun, right? Bye! I'll see you again soon.